Hi, I'm Lisa from the Herbal Mom's Kitchen and I'm bringing you a guide to foraging rose hips and hawthorns to make a heartwarming vitamin C boosting tea this winter. Before we move on, there are some foraging rules that we should really go by. Hawthorn and rose hip have amazing natural medicinal benefits, but do some research first to make sure that the use of them won't affect any underlying health conditions or medication that you're on. At the end of these slides, I have added a list of websites and books for reference. Please, please make sure you do the research first before you go out there foraging. Um, it's just to keep you safe at the end of the day. Only forage what you need. Never forage from private land. And if you do know somebody that owns private land and you want to forage there, please make sure you ask for permission. This slide shows you a variety of equipment that I use for making teas. Don't be stressed out by it. For this, we're only going to be using a simple saucepan and a teapot with a built-in infuser. If you don't have a teapot with a built-in infuser, a strainer of any description and a cup is also really handy. We'll move on to prepping our hawthorn and rose hips. Um, this is a really simple. Make sure and give them a good rinse off first in some hot water. Just make sure you've got all your nasty little bugs and things off of them. Uh, chop off any stalks at the ends. Uh, rose hips often have little barbs still attached to them. Um, so we'll use a little knife of some description just to kind of scrape these off. We'll usually make about a handful of our rose hips and hawthorn for this infusion. Don't worry if you've got more of one than the other. As long as you've got a rough handful of both, that's all we really need. So fill your saucepan up and chuck it chuck your handful of rose hips and hawthorn in and we'll bring the pot to the boil. Then we will allow it to simmer for 15 minutes. When it's finished simmering, pop the mixture through your infuser on the teapot if you're using one or straight into a cup using a strainer. I prefer using the teapot mostly so I can keep the rose hips and the hawthorns infusing, but it's totally not needed. Um, I like to have a pot of tea sitting next to me as I work away through the day. This is just a preference. You can pick up most of these little teapots really, really cheaply these days. So if it's something that you'd love to invest in, um, I would highly recommend. Uh, if the infusion though is a little bit bitter, I'm vegan, so I tend to use agave or I make a homemade dandelion and honey recipe, uh, which I would put through it. But if you're not vegan, some honey is obviously preferable for you yourself. Uh, I wouldn't use granulated sugar because it will, it just doesn't take very well to these very natural uh, remedies. Um, for a little bit extra, if you have any rose hips or hawthorn left over from what you foraged, try drying them in the oven. This can take four to five hours depending on your oven. I have a fan assisted oven, so it only usually takes me about four hours to do it. Give it a little check every 20 minutes to half an hour to make sure nothing's burning, make sure everything's okay. I should mention this should be on the lowest setting of your oven. Just and try and maybe do it overnight sometimes. Some people prefer doing it overnight, sorry I should say, but it doesn't really make any difference. If you've got the time to do it for the day, do it for the day. Um, and this means that you can make your tea anytime you want, uh, especially when the winter months start kind of passing by and these little berries are not going to be available. Um, and it will also only take you 10 minutes rather than the usual 20 minutes to do it from fresh. So thank you for stopping by and having a listen to our video. I've added our Facebook and Instagram pages at the end of this if you kind of want to come along and follow us and see what else we get up to. We also have a Her an Eatsy page, the Herbal Mama's Kitchen Eatsy page, to come and see what products we have available. So have a wonderful Christmas, enjoy the rest of the Advent videos as they pop up and all the best for the new year. Thanks very much for listening.